Hello internet. Now I have no right at all to be doing a review on Amobas. I I don't have any right at all to do a MOBA review. But the internet is for freedom of speech and I felt like this game deserved some honest criticism. And I'm saying criticism because I'm gonna chastise the shit. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so it's good game. I'm not saying it's not a good game. This is quite an amazing MOBA. Compared to Paragon, maybe not so much. But standing on its own, from the people who made this game, the same people who made Borderlands, Borderlands 2, so instead of giving us Borderlands 3, they're like, you know what? Here's a MOBA. Love it. So they have this game out now. It's called Battleborn. This game is fun, addicting, you can put hours into it and not even notice it because it is a MOBA and that's what it's meant to be, addicting, fun, keep the player interactive. It's a first person MOBA which are unique, uh, there's a couple of them out there now, uh, there's a new one coming out here soon and uh, I might put up a review of that game if I get it. Um, my problem with this game is graphic wise the graphics look okay but to me it feels like last gen graphics they're just throwing out there to say hey you know what this worked for borderlands one we updated graphics a little bit we smudged it up a little bit you know and just give it a little kick in the butt and now here's borderlands 2 oh man we Borderlands 2 did okay. You know what? We see MOBAs are being getting pretty big. Let's uh let's just make one of those guys. You know what? Let's just do it because we can. I don't have a problem with that attitude. It's just I don't wanna look at the tree and see it looks like somebody painted it with like water paint. I don't wanna look at the sky and like, oh my god, it's all blue. Wow, this game is like set on the perfect day ever in history. I'm going to look at the ground and the dirt be the best looking part of the game. Literally, the dirt is the best looking part of the game. I mean, I went outside and I looked at my ground and then we just got rain and it dried up. So it's like, this looks pretty damn close. They did great on the dirt and that's maddening. It makes me crazy. And yes, I just compared the dirt to real life. Live with yourself. I have to every day. And this is a great game in the end. I'm, I'm 7 out of 10 in it. Uh, reason 7 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 on this game is because, first off, the graphics drive me, they still make me so mad. I mean, they could have done so much more. I mean, I know they're using the Unreal Engine and they're like, hey, this is what it looks like. This is like the best we can do. We can update our graphics all we want. I've messaged them on Twitter and shit and they're like, well, this crap, it's supposed to look like this. And I get that. It's supposed to look cartoony. It's supposed to feel cartoony. The first person thing is amazing. Their campaigns, though, their idea of a campaign is doing specific things with each character to unlock their achievements, trophies, and their little skeletons on the wall. You know, you get to see a little bit of that. I know it's a MOBA, but if you're going to put a campaign, air quote, campaign in it, then it should have, you know, fucking a little mission. I don't care if it's one fucking mission. Like the lady in the left corner of the screen with four arms, a red eye, witch hat, you see her, I know you do, I do. Her campaign, I don't care if it's just her getting recruited from a little house in the middle of a jungle with a swamp around her. That would be fine with me. Chick on the right, right next to the guy with a red mullet. Mohawk, whatever. Or is it a sword? It's a sword. Okay, so him. The chick to her, his right. I would not care if she was recruited from a fucking king's castle as a maid. Okay, who's mopping five different areas with her powers. Like, she made five different versions of a map. The soldier, obviously, he was recruited from some sort of army. The soldier up in the top left, obviously recruited from some army. Uh, where is she at? There's one more. 
The soldier to the top left by his ear, recruited from some sort of army. They all have that symbol on their armor, that castle with the star and a diamond, or a star on it. They're all part of the same thing. Are their story intertwined? I don't know. They don't have anything. The bandit to the right of the soldier in the bottom right. Could she have been teamed up with the luchador in the top right? Or the fucking behemoth mammoth dude in the top left? I don't know. But that's why this game's a 7 out of 10. With the story. I'm a story person. I play games for story. I play games for graphics. Graphics and story. I mean, they could have shit graphics. If they had a story, I would love it. But no real story. No graphics. 7 out of 10. That is my final verdict. And as always, have a good day, YouTube. And have a beautiful day, Internet.